Hey everyone, so welcome back to my channel today and we are doing a brand new Sims 3 criticism video because today I thought it'd be really fun to re-adventure back into this game to see what I can possibly do and also show off my Sims 3 criticism skills after, you know, playing The Sims 4 for almost eight years now. And especially because if you don't remember my bed and breakfast build that I did a couple weeks ago, I mentioned there was a family called the Ashen family who owns the bed and breakfast, the nectary, and also owns a little local farm area in Appaloosa Plains. And if you haven't seen those two videos, I will link them down below in the description of the nectary and also the bed and breakfast because I kid you not, I am deeply in love with The Sims 3 again after not playing it like fully in like maybe three and a half, four years and playing around with the game mechanics and understanding how it works again and building and create a sim. And of course you gotta have your, your, your cast sliders and custom content and you know, Enros mods to you know, have fun. At least for me, that's what I usually like to do because the game is unplayable without those. But for me, I really don't really have a lot of mods in my game in The Sims 3 because personally for me, I don't really do mod heavy gameplay anymore like I used to. And I wanted to keep it very minimal when it comes to the mods that I use, but also the kind of custom content that I use. Now, I don't technically know if you can download The Sims 3 Sims that I currently use right now. I'll try and find a way where I can make them for download so you all can download the, the Sims themselves, but also the custom content that comes along with it. I'll find a tutorial myself on the internet to find a way and if I can find it it'll be linked down below so you all can have it and all that jazz like I have some custom content that is old and ancient from like 2011. I hoard CC like the plague and it's just ridiculous but regardless of my custom content addiction of The Sims 3 I wanted to say that the Ashton family has two Sims and a cat now, Tanika is what I'm making, who is I'm making right now. Now, the Ashton family consists of two Sims and a cat, and I'm currently making Tanika, who is a teenager of the family, and their mom, um, Octavia Ashland, and their father is no longer living because they died in a mysterious fire from, like, from living in different areas and wanted to kind of take the land and put it towards their family for longevity and building, you know, the business, the brand, and the legacy of the Ashen family. That's basically like five generations deep. And no, I did not make the other generations because there's no way I'm going back down that rabbit hole of making more Sims and attaching to the family tree, even though I know full well that they are gone in the ground. But you kind of get the general like idea and like the inspiration behind it. I'm pretending that there are five extra gens when in reality there aren't. And so I felt like it was needed to involve two Sims and a cat because the Ashton family own, like I said, a bed and breakfast. And they also own the nectary in the town, which is the only nectary in the town where you can only get the good stuff. You can pick your own grapes, your own fruits, your own whatever, and squash it in the basement yourselves, or you have it, you know, pre-ordered and delivered to you. Now, I find that with The Sims 3 World Adventures, what I found so unique about it and why the reason why I wanted to make the Ashton family own a nectary and like some other businesses around, you know, Appaloosa Plains is that World Adventures has so much uniqueness to it and it's so versatile when it comes to the worlds. Like you have China, you have Paris, and you have, um, you know, Egypt. So you have like those three, you know, destination worlds you can go to. But I love, I love going to France a lot because the nectary is there. But then I also like the idea of just like looking around, buying, you know, buying these little homes and just have fun. And so I thought it'd be really fun to have my Sim, I forget what his name is already, I forget, but my main Sim in my current household, I wanted them to be friends with Tanika because they're soon going to be a teenager at some point. And Tanika's, I would say, is a little bit older. And my child, who's a little bit younger, he's about to be a teenager. And I want them to be friends, get along with each other, maybe, you know, go to college together, if any, because... I'm going to try and find a way to include a university lot in Appaloosa Plains because there is a custom content lot you can download and do that, which is nice. So I'm going to find a way to do that so I don't have to adventure to the university world and be stuck there because I kind of want to, you know, live around town and see the sites and, you know, live a little bit. So I might demolish some homes 
and do something about that to make it what it is today for myself. Because I'm trying to find the happy medium between my Sims 4 style and my Sims 3 style and including my Sims 2 style of how I play, incorporating it all into one game, which is the Sims 3. And I don't know, I think that's what I am, I'm trying to do, recreating my playing style in this game and making Sims, building houses, telling stories and making it what it is. And I find like, I don't know, the quality of The Sims 3, even though they're poo-poo potato Sims looking out like a hot mess on a Sunday afternoon, looking extra as ever, I find that using minimal custom content on my Sims specifically just makes it so much more fun for me. So I don't really use that much. I mean, I use the S Club 3D eyelashes in The Sims 3. That's all I really use. And then like some makeup, but that's very, very little. And I think it's really cool. But what's funny about, you know, uh, Tanika's mother, Octavia, is that they're literally twins, literally twins. Like we know, you know, our parents and, you know, um, you know, other people say, oh, you look like your dad or you look like your mom or whatever. Well, in my world, in my life, everyone says I look exactly like my mother, which in reality I do. Like if you look at her younger photos and me as a young child, we look exactly the same. There's literally no difference except, you know, gender and stuff. Um, but and some other things too, but like, I find that, you know, it'd be really cool that Tanika kind of looks like her mom. And so matching them a little bit, you know, together with like the, the facial features with a few differences, but also like the hair changes and the outfit changes and the whole personality of it all is definitely very different. And I thought it'd be really fun to kind of tie that into the mix. And I have not yet built their house yet because I'm still trying to find, again, a happy medium of how do I want to make their house, you know, look good without being tacky? Because building in The Sims 3 is a, a hot mess for me. I build very sporadically and none of it makes any sense, but building a big, big, big house would take a lot of time because, I don't know, The Sims 3 has a lot of custom ability that I love, but what's the bad thing about it, the longer, the more customized you do, the longer it will take. So I'm still trying to again like figure out how I will make the Ashland farmhouse. I know when I have a I want to have a section for horses and gardening and maybe even I, I don't know something else in that backyard of theirs or a side yard. Still trying to figure out how big I want the lot to be. I know I want it to be big enough where they can have their the horse ranch and also their garden and kind of close nearby their nectary and bed and breakfast. And so this is going to be a really interesting experience kind of diving back into The Sims 3. And I know most of you all really love The Sims 3 and have been really liking The Sims 3 content. And I cannot wait to show you more of it in the future. So if you have any ideas on what you want me to do, let me know. Let me know on what you want to see. But however, though, I think what's so what's so different that I love about The Sims 3 is how each cast is different. Like the horse criticism is different. The the dog and cat creates them is very different, but essentially they're all the same because they're in the same like barn. But looking back at the footage and, and everything, it looks so different. Like, wow, really, really, we have evolved since then. I feel like it runs better in The Sims 4 than The Sims 3, but that's just like generally me of what I'm used to. But it's very interesting to see how different they can be. And it's the general like mechanics of it all. Man, we have come a long way for sure. A long, long way. But anyway, I do want to go ahead and wrap up this video. I do hope you all enjoyed it. Let me know down in the comments below as always of what do you thought of the Ashton family? Do you want to see more of them? I hope you all enjoyed the two builds I've done already, the Nectary and the Bed and Breakfast. And if you have not seen those, again, they will be linked down below in the description and all that jazz. But like I said, I hope you all enjoyed it and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.